Hey, beautiful souls. Happy New Year and welcome to your January monthly reading. And in this reading, we're going to be including the 1-1 one, one portal, which I'm going to be calling the Magician's Gateway because number one is the uh, number of the Major Arcana Magician card. And then in addition to looking at how that's going to impact your January, we're going to ask one thing that Spirit wants you to know about 2020 three. So we of course are going to have readings for each individual zodiac sign and for the magician's gateway, you know, magician card, the magician energy is divine masculine energy. It's movement, it's fire, it's the master manifester. So we're going to be asking what is ready to ignite on the other side of the magician's gateway. What is building up fire? And then one, one, boom, what is igniting? And then, of course, like we said, and then one thing that Spirit wants you to know about 2023. It's not going to be everything, but it's one thing they want you to know starting off in January. So, as I mentioned, we're going to have uh, readings for each individual zodiac sign, and we're going to start off with yours right now. All right, Capricorns, this is your monthly reading. We're going to start off pulling a card here from the Cosmic Journey Oracle. All the cards that I use in a reading, I do list in the description box of the video down below. So if any of them catch your eye and you want them for yourself, you know where you can pick those up. And the first two stacks or two decks that we're going to use here are going to be about the one thing that Spirit wants you to know about 2023. So let's take a look here. All right, so for Capricorn, what would you like them to know right now? Okay, I do want this one right here. So the one thing for 2023, you have the Galactic Grandmother, card number five. Beautiful energy there, we'll put that right here. And that is in a special place in the back here, so let's get to that. So the energy of the Galactic Grandmother is Mother Nature, Wisdom, Stern, but Loving Grandparent. So very much <laughs> Capricorn Saturn energy. Saturn, you know, that rolls over Capricorn is kind of known as the strict grandfather. So this is such your energy. Uh, the Galactic Grandmother is providing you her blessing of love and joy. She wants only what's best for you, but she will smack you over the head and set you straight if you've veered off. <laughs> She's a stern but loving Bubba, and your Galactic Grandmother isn't afraid to call you out on your BS. <laughs> grandmother is the essence of uh, Pashamama, the Earth Mother Nature. So come sit for a bit of cake and tea. She's here to share with you the timeless wisdom of stories, values, and guidance passed down from the ages. <laughs> now the uh, questions that you can ask this grandmother is, can you share a little bit of your wisdom needed now? What is my role in serving the earth at this time? And how can I be more in alignment with Mother Nature? Can you tell me a story? You can even ask, where do I belong? So I like that. I mean, very much Capricorn energy. Because, um, so Saturn, there's a beautiful story I heard from someone I was studying astrology with. And they talk about the stern grandfather is what Capricorn is, but they also give us reward. So you're, the Saturn, the Capricorn energy is about it shakes our world, it rattles our world, makes us look at our, you know, our uh, thoughts and beliefs and mindsets. But this grandfather had two grandsons in the story and they would both go over to the grandfather's house and the grandfather was very wealthy, very successful, because that's what that Capricorn energy does, that Saturn energy. Um, and he would give them tasks to do, like count all these pennies. And one of the grandsons was like, okay, this seems silly, but I'm going to do the work. And they did it. The other grandson was like, oh, you're weird. I'm not going to do it. And he refused to do the tasks that 
the grandfather gave him. And eventually, you know, the grandfather passed and he left him both a book about all the reasons why he was trying to teach them the lessons that he taught them and what it would bring them. Um, and so both of them got that, the wisdom of it, but the one grandson that did all the work got the inheritance of everything else. And so that's what this energy feels like is that this is a year of really tuning into your energy, doing the work and uh, really embracing that. And then knowing that there is such a, um, a harvest that comes for the work that you're doing. We'll also pull here from the Enchanted Map Oracle and see what else they have regarding this work. Get some clarity around it. All right, so what else for Capricorn, please? All right, there you go. And what do we have here? We got the Magic Prayer, card number 32. We'll put that right here. Let's see, you had card number, this is card number five, and you have three plus two is five. So this is a year of significant change, I feel for you, in positive ways. It says, speak your prayers, listen for the answers, and act in faith. So when you see the magic prayer card, it's a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. And that said, the best prayer is, thy will be done through me, thy will and not mine be done. So this kind of talked about here too, one of the questions is, where do I fit in? How can I give to the world? So asking, and I love all the greens, all this is coming together here with your earth element energy too. So conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. And your destiny awaits you. As long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power, be assured that you are on the right path. I love it. These also have a reversed meaning, which I also like to read. It says, self-will that goes unchecked can bring difficulties. This magic prayer card is a sign that you might have mistakenly believed that your way is the only one. <laughs> Could the path you're on uh, be leading you to a place of regret, or could you be pursuing something that just isn't good for you? If so, you may be facing a painful lesson, and a lonely one too. Perhaps it's time to pray and meditate on your highest good and the highest good of all. Spirit may have other plans for you, so be assured that they will be better than any plans you could ever dream up. So again, surrendering, allowing these lessons. You know, I, I see now with a combination of these cards why they wanted to talk about that Capricorn energy with that grandfather, right? Because if you do the work and you go, what, a, what silly thing are you having me do? But you trust that, the, you know, they are successful. They're, we're like a billionaire. You're going to trust that their lessons and what they have to bring for you is for your highest purpose. And if you continue to follow the lessons that come from on high, from spirit, you know, it will guide and bring you into this beautiful place. So I like that. We're also going to pull from the Light Seers Tarot. See what they else they would like to add into this one thing they want you to know right now. So I like that this is kind of saying, whatever comes your way is coming for you. It's like the devil card. When you get the devil card in the tarot, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's um this <clears throat> rattling of our cage, bringing things to our face for us so we can do the work and release it. And on the other side of it is such freedom and such wisdom. So I like it. <clears throat> so let's take a look here. What else for Capricorn, please? Okay, none of those. All right, here we go. So they do want these two and that one. So we have the Ace of Cups. 
So definitely connecting to the higher realm. The Ace of Cups is the chalice. It's the Holy Grail. And it is full of the unconditional love of the higher realms. This even said, Grandmother opens up her energy of her love and her joy to bring this to you. So choosing, you know, like both those grandsons, one of them chose like, you know what? Grandpa, he's grumpy and he's very strict, but he knows what he's doing and I'm going to choose to do it joyfully, right? Versus, rah, grumble, grumble, grumble. I'm not going to do this. This is stupid, you know. Whatever energy we invest, whatever energy we choose also allows us to, you know, go in a certain direction. So that is great. So I like that. And then you have the five of swords. So those fives making themselves known. Uh, swords, which the Capricorn energy is very, <laughs> very mental, which is even though you're an earth sign, they do a lot of thinking in that Capricorn energy. The shaking of the Saturn is the shaking of our thoughts, our beliefs, our mindsets, the way we look at things. You know, every moment we have a choice between the choosing a, uh, a thought and belief or an emotion that's related to the fears of losing conditional love or of the joy and love, unconditional love from above. And so the whittling out, the, the challenging of the old ways of thinking is what's coming here. And like I was saying that, you know, that Capricorn energy brings it to your face where you cannot escape it like this crow. You know, these other crows up here, you can hear them from a distance, but this one's like right in your ear, almost giving them a headache. They're going, oh my God. And it's like, yeah, it's time, but it will free you um, as you face it and you challenge those beliefs and mindsets that you have. Yeah. Then you have the seven of wands. So this is you sitting in a higher place in this bubble. Other people might try to burst your bubble. But when you come to this beautiful place, this beautiful understanding, um, I, I feel like it's just this, you know, knowing that these people, it's because you are challenging yourself and you're moving up and you're getting the reward for doing the work. Other people who are not doing the work will be like, why do you get to have that? Blah, 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 blah. And because they feel they're lower and they feel like you are higher, they're trying to bring you back down to where they are. And they're like, come back, back down here and be miserable with the rest of us. How dare you evolve <laughs> and move towards higher alignment with your path? But you don't have to defend yourself with this. Just knowing that, you know, you're here because you've done the work. You can, you know, you don't have to defend yourself. But knowing that it's because they feel they're lower, you can say, hey, you know, I'm not here um, where I'm at now because I it just was given to me. I've worked my butt off. You know, they showed me my BS and they called me on it and, and I've made, I've faced those things, you know, so it, I can show you how to do this too if you want. And then if you offer that, some of them might take it and they're like, wow, you really would help me with that? And you're like, yeah, absolutely. I want you to be up at this level too. That will help with some of them. Some of them are don't want to be helped. They just want to complain. And that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to save the world. This is all about you focusing on your restrictions, these thoughts, these beliefs that have made you feel small and incomplete and lost. And this is a year of you really um, rattling some of your old beliefs that do free you. So I like that. Now, the next two decks we're going to look at here is the second piece of this reading, which is what is going to ignite on the other side of this one, one portal that I'm calling it the magician's gateway. What is standing on the other side of that as you move into 2023? You know, this can happen any time during the year. This is exactly what's happening um, here as you step in to 2023 with this one, one portal. So what would you like Capricorn to know? What's going to ignite? All right, they do want that one right there. And you have card number four, Uncord Relationships. And that says, let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. <laughs> so I like that. Let's take a look here. You know, maybe that's some of these relationships, right? That you're just like, up. Oh, so it says your unicorn loves you with a high, pure love. 
And these perfect beings cannot comprehend the attachments we make on earth, but have enormous compassion for us and will help us to let go of any that are holding us back. Mm -hmm. So they help with this too. Any lower emotions you are harboring against someone may be perfectly justified when examined from the limitations and ego beliefs of this lifetime. These things here. <laughs> However, your guidance is to release them all now. Consider how you could have attracted that person's behavior. What might have occurred in other lifetimes? And are they teaching you something important in this one? A desire for a particular outcome or a lack of forgiveness binds your soul to someone else's. How many more years or even lifetimes are you prepared to be chained to this person? When you can happily bless a person who has wronged you, right, and visualize them receiving whatever they want or need, you are free. Then your unicorn can joyfully replace all you have lost and more. They can return money and possessions multiplied and restore and enhance your reputation. They can bring you greater love, success, health, and happiness. Unconditional love does not form binding cords, so you can never lose true love. Your guidance is to scan back through the years for anyone, dead or alive, who may be still influencing you, right? These people that were poking at your bubble. Then ask your unicorn to set you both free. I love it. Now to uncord relationships to set yourself free, you can call your unicorn and it lovingly enfolds you in pure love. And then imagine one or more people that you're attached to. Tell them you want to release any lower energies between you. What are the attachments like? They may present themselves to you as chains or ropes or daggers or something else. Mentally say to the other people, I set us free. Ask your unicorn to dissolve any cords with light from its horn. Know that the unicorns will bless the other people with whatever their heart desires. And the unicorn blessings are now showering over you too. I love that. So that's the process. The affirmation for that card is I am free to be myself. And it definitely, it feels like um, very much the devil card because it usually shows people that are chained or caged and, and they can't... Um, you know, it's about understanding what is chaining you, what is keeping you restricted, and what helps set you free. So all this energy is definitely working together here. This energy at this portal is the beginning of this for 2023. So I kind of feel like this does happen in January as well. So let's take a look. What else for Capricorn about this power that's igniting as you step through this portal. Okay, they do want this one right here. You've got eyes of the eagle rising above the fray. <laughs> Giant eagle eye there. I like it. I'll put that right here. And let's see what this brings in for you. Protection, inherent trust as well. So the eyes of the eagle offer you the gift of foresight, the skill of looking ahead to see the unfolding of destiny before it all manifests as reality. The eagle's extraordinary vision allows it to spot the tiny mouse from its lofty perspective as it flies thousands of feet into the atmosphere. In a similar fashion, you too can train your keen eye to discern the workings of humans. Here we go. Eyes of the Eagle is an invitation to witness the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful, yet react to nothing. Act only to further your noblest calling, like we were talking about. The eagle flies above all creatures, and when it meets obstacles, it simply rises above them. 
Know that you are protected. You can fly high above the judgment slings and arrows and the darts of envy from others who may not have your great wings and are still arguing with the pigeons over crumbs. Yeah, this is definitely that energy. So trust that you are ready for whatever fortune has placed before you, even if you feel you're not properly equipped to meet its challenges. Your willingness to say yes to spirit has nothing to do with how well outfitted you are. Hesitating, on the other hand, will suck the air from under your wings and make you lose altitude. So you're called now to trust your heart and your instincts to move fearlessly and not waver. The time is right and no harm can come your way if your motives are pure and you act courageously. Yeah, it's, it's definitely fitting in with all of this. And we also will pull here more cards from the Light Sears Tarot. Let's see what else they have for you. All right, so what else about this Magician's Gateway for Capricorn, please? Okay, what else? I feel like this one right there. Okay. So we'll start with this one right here. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. So you're definitely leaving behind emotions that no longer serve you. And this allows you to walk away. The Eight of Cups, we walk, she walks away to the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Fulfillment card. So you're definitely leaving old emotions behind, old ways of believing, old ways of feeling behind, and it allows you to move into something in alignment with your, your fate, with your desire, with your heart's desire, and how you do uniquely want to share this love you have within you with the world. Yes, and you have a new passion, a new drive that comes in. So all this energy that was being invested before in maintaining old things and all these thoughts and beliefs and mindsets, this is what, you know, with that forgiveness too, it's releasing, letting those things go. And you have all this energy. This is like the air underneath the eagle's wings that allows you to rise higher and higher um, and kind of rise to this place where you are above all the troubles that are down below <laughs> yeah because here's the that trouble down below the competitiveness this feeling of fear uh, again another five has this beautiful transformation because it starts off looking like it's a um, yeah five above a five <laughs> a struggle a conflict like they're trying to beat each other someone's being competitive trying to get to the top you know and everyone is like wait this person's at the top let's try to stop him and bring him down and this is like no this transforms realizing that all the interactions that you've had all of these mirrors that came into your life were showing you what you wanted to see about yourself and it transforms from what looks like a battle to something of love where you're recognizing from this higher point of view that the actor behind all these characters they have pure purpose for you to help you understand more about yourself and so it's actions of love helping you discover more about yourself rather than the character human characters we see like oh they're doing this stuff to me we see above that and see they're doing these actions and saying these things for us instead then you have the knight of pentacles so this is about movement it's slow movement though um, so it's like enjoy the journey enjoy the process it's definitely the all the knights go on a quest and this knight uh, quest for the ace of pentacles which is seeing your worth seeing your value in relation to the outside world in a completely different way which is definitely this transformation you're letting go of old ways of thinking Instead of it being rooted in these fears of losing conditional love, you're looking at your value from inward and upward to this love rather than the outside world where it's like, you know, uh, disappointing because we're told to define ourselves by relationships and situations and things. And we know relationships are unstable because people change. Those human characters change or they pass away. Situations, job, education, those things never stay the same. Things, our bodies, our bank accounts, our possessions, blow up, burn down, stolen, deteriorate, break, whatever it is, we realize those things are unstable. So we search for something that is stable and we find that inward and upward 
in this beautiful love. So definitely a year of there's some work, but your Capricorn energy, you're like, oh yeah, this is normal. This is what we do. So it won't feel like something odd. It's just going to be so powerful for you though. Really a lot of work you've been doing over <laughs> for like decades, but, it, but definitely over like the last five years, I feel definitely this progress, this really been taking a lot, a lot of, uh, focus on your beliefs and uh, your inner journeys a lot of it's coming to fruition a lot of stuff finally is clicking and and um, being released you've been doing all the work and the release is coming like this eight of cups you are leaving behind these things these emotions that aren't serving you and you're headed off in this beautiful direction so i do love this for you capricorns now this isn't all you know this is just one thing they wanted you to know and what's happening as you step to this portal but you know stay tuned you know we do have these monthly readings every month that'll give you updates on your energy as you go throughout it also give uh, weekly energy updates for each individual zodiac sign so you can have a weekly update of what's happening next in the next week what kind of energies are coming in i also do pick a cards and a few other types of videos throughout the month so if you don't want to miss out on any of the updates and get notified immediately when they become available if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button and then by clicking the subscribe button, you're given access to the notification bell. When you go in there, there's an all option, which if you select two things happen. One, notifications come out immediately when a video is posted. But number two, you're also notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. I know. <laughs> In addition to all of that, it also helps spread the Zen love. And it does help my channel grow in significant ways. Because when you like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, subscribe to my channel, doing any of those things makes the YouTube algorithm so crazy excited, wants to automatically share the videos of my channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things I mentioned, please know I'm very, very grateful. And these are general readings. If you want even more significant and specific information and answers for your specific life, I currently offer personal readings and all that information is listed down in the description box of this video below. All right, Capricorn, as you step through this portal into 2023, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things and of course, I love you too. Have an amazing adventure. We'll be talking soon, I'm sure. And in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.